television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The early Bronze Age hill discovered in Western Armenia to become a tourist attraction. Construction of new residential settlement for displaced citizens launched in Artsakh. More than 110 aftershocks recorded in Armenia after the earthquake of February 13. Erdogan accuses United States of supporting Kurdish militants. Russia registers activation of sleeping cells of Islamic State in Syria, Lavrentiev. The exhibits of the Shushi Carpet Museum to be presented in Yerevan. Proceeds from the joint concert of the Armenian National Academic and Philharmonic Orchestra to be donated to the 1000 Plus Foundation. According to the information received, the hill containing rooms and corridors belonging to the early Bronze Age, discovered as a result of excavations in the city of Vyborg, located in the eastern part of Black Sea in western Armenia three years ago, will become a tourist attraction. The moon is located in the village of Chivtendepe, 14 kilometers from the city center. Numerous historical specimens have been found in the area, which was discovered in 2017 as a first-class archaeological site. A 30-meter tunnel begins at the entrance of the hill, which sheds light on history. Rooms and corridors were found during the 2018 excavations on the hill, reminiscent of Portasar in Urfa. Arched architectural remains were discovered during the excavations, a rock tunnel. Spareheads made of obsidian, pottery items, centers of nomadic culture were found in the hill. The historical area is to be turned into a tourist place this year. Construction of a new residential settlement has launched in the territory located between Atzhashen and Patara villages of Artsakh Saskaran region. As reported by Arman Press, spokesperson of the Urban Development Ministry of Artsakh, Marta Danielian, told, The new settlement, which is for our citizens displayed from Jiragatsner, Moshmach, Madatashen and Sagnach villages of Askeran, will have a total area of over 644,000 square meters. The first of the planned 116 private houses will be ready within the next few months. The construction of the settlement will be completed by December 2022. The houses will have from two to four rooms. Each private house will be provided with 1,500 square meters of land. A market will also be built near the main road, she said. More than 110 aftershocks were recorded so far after the February 13 magnitude 4.7 earthquake in Yerevan, the Armenian Seismic Protection Service said. Right now there is an aftershock seismic activity, but it is gradually decreasing. The Minister of Emergency Situations Seismic Protection Service Director Sos Markarian told, there have been magnitude 0.1 and less aftershocks. Overall, only two or three of these aftershocks were felt in Yerevan. On February 13, at 3.29 p.m. local time, the seismological network of the Territorial Seismic Protection Service of the Ministry of Emergency Situations of the Republic of Armenia registered 8 km southeast of Yerevan, 10 km depth of the epicenter, 4.7 magnitude earthquake. The magnitude of the earthquake in the epicenter was from 6 to 7. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan accused the United States of supporting Kurdish militants who, according to Ankara, executed 13 kidnapped Turks in northern Iraq, Reuters reported. The Turkish authorities earlier announced that the militants of the banned Kurdish Workers' Party had executed 13 Turks, including the military and police. Washington said it would condemn the killings if reports that the party were responsible for the incident were confirmed. Erdogan said the U.S. statement shows that it supports the party in the Syrian Kurdish forces. The United States has refused to attend an international conference on the Syrian conflict in Sochi, although it has received an invitation from Russia. As reported by Arman Press, the special representative of the Russian president for Syria, Alexander Lavrentev, stated on February 16. We also sent an invitation to our American counterparts to attend the conference, but unfortunately we were refused. The Americans are currently busy with internal affairs and apparently have not decided yet on a route to Syria, he said. Lavrentev also mentioned that Russia is registering the activation of sleeping cells of Islamic State in Syria. According to him, agreements with terrorist organizations operating in Syria are excluded. The goal of their complete destruction is maintained. Interesting samples of the Shushi Carpet Museum will be displayed in Yerevan. As reported by Arman Press, the exhibition will open on February 20 at Tamanyan National Museum Institute of Architecture. The carpets are from the personal collection of the museum's founder, Vartan Astatarian. They were reformed from Shushi on November 1 of the previous year. The oldest of the exhibited samples is 350 years old. Armenian National Academic Choir and the Armenian National Philharmonic Orchestra will perform a charity concert in memory of the heroes killed in the Artsakh War. Proceeds from the concert will be donated to the Soldiers Insurance Fund 1000+. 
As reported by Armen Press, the concert evening, which will be conducted by ANCA Artistic Director, Chief Conductor Hovanes Chekijian, will take place on February 17 at Aram Khachatryan Concert Hall. Now we present you Bostan in Dirir by Sagmos Choir. <laughs> The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.